What will enable me to sustain a career as an artist? This is a question I've been asking myself a lot recently. Uh, so it's a question I've been asking myself a lot over the last two decades. I've been working part-time as an artist, illustrator and designer, and I wanna see if there's a way to switch it up and go full-time. Uh, I'm at a crossroads where I feel like I either need to make it work or try something completely different. Uh, so this video is more of a sort of uh, sit down, listen in the background style update. Uh, I'm gonna put a little video, or well, I've put a little video of me uh, working on a, an old piece of artwork from a while back in the background if anyone did wanna watch. But uh, yeah, here we go. So just updating my progress. So I kind of know what I wanna do, which is to somehow earn enough to make a living through my artwork. How exactly I'm going about that, I'm still working out. So previously, in previous videos, I was talking about my history as an artist, what I've done, where I've been, and trying to now work out what to do moving forward. My first bottle call was just to think about uh, starting to create like, incremental improvements on my process and what I'm doing day by day. And uh, yeah, so, so yeah, that's, that's just basically what I'm gonna talk about for a little bit. My plans last time were to spend the week uh, mainly working on this new card game project that I wanna one day release. So it's not a new project, it's a project that I started working on a few years ago. I got about like, well over halfway through it. And I thought this is, a, this is a fun little card game, I'd like to release it. It got put on the back burner for various reasons and I thought, despite the fact that it's more of like a side quest project rather than the main goal, it would be a good time now that I've got the opportunity to work on it rather than potentially go in a different direction when I don't know what direction that's going to be exactly just yet. I've thrown ideas around like the idea of maybe changing the format of what I do or changing the content, that is to say still drew draw the kind of stuff I'm doing, you know, this anime, manga, comic book, tattoo vibe stuff, but maybe make it a little bit more consistent, rebrand it somewhat. Uh, and also the format, I mean, I sell art prints at the moment, mostly a few t-shirts, but perhaps I should focus a bit more on creating more of a, a business that is t-shirt heavy, or maybe do something else that could utilize my artwork, like who knows, uh, stickers or bags or skate decks or something. I don't. I, don't, I haven't even really thought about it too much uh, to to really know which direction to go in. But uh, I wanted to just sort of document my progress to some degree uh, to sort of try and get to a place where I, I, I figure it out and then hopefully then be able to pass on everything I've learned to uh, to, to the next lot that come along wanting to take up the. Uh, the task of developing their art art career. So, uh, so yeah, uh, I had a few things that I did this week, but it was a it was a really tough week. Uh, the start of last week, I ended up getting a flu, and it was a it was a pretty bad flu. Basically, I was bedridden for a couple of days. It came along with a, a migraine that was pretty bad. Uh, I do get migraines occasionally, uh, even at the best of times. Uh, and when I get a bad migraine, I mean really bad, like I, I have to just lay in bed still in pretty much darkness, can't really move, otherwise I feel sick, uh, I get bad gut, I get diarrhea and the rest of it, it's, it's horrible. And uh, yeah, I just, I, yeah, so I had that to contend with as long as the flu, just feeling in a lot of kind of physical, kind of having the physical aches and pains that you get with a flu, but also like, a bad headache from a migraine and uh, and then just other things happening you know like losing sleep and it messing with my sleep schedule and just generally not having any motivation so it was a tough week to get through first few days I couldn't really do any any art or anything that went towards the the artistic goal and um, when I did have a bit of energy I had a couple of hours a day over the course of maybe four days just to mainly work towards this comic convention that's coming up. I'm going to be exhibiting in, in London at the end of uh, October and uh, I had ordered some art prints, some new ones to uh, to go on to sell at the uh, the show 
and I needed to basically go through the order, check that they were all, all okay, that they weren't damaged, and to do a sort of stock take and to work out what I was going to bring, what I wasn't. Basically just general prep for the event. Uh, I'm no stranger to comic conventions. I've done probably over 40 so far. And uh, so it wasn't like I needed to really think about how to create a whole new display or anything. It was literally just considering, oh, maybe I should put this one up you know, on display next time. Or actually, maybe I should put that one up. Or let me just check which, which of my best, best sellers at events. Maybe I should give that more sort of pride of place. Uh, as well as, like I say, just putting in a few new designs and taking out a few old ones into the, the books for people to peruse when they uh, attend the event. Unfortunately, I did get a, an email saying where my table was for the show and uh, I'm basically going to be in the, the far corner away from everything, which is which is bad. From experience, I know that that's going to basically mean a significant loss in earnings. Uh, there's going to be far less footfall, far less takings and... I don't know what to do about it. Uh, sometimes it's just bad luck. But I kind of feel like recently I've had a lot of times where I've just been getting bad table placement, and it's it's quite it's quite difficult because you go to these events expecting a lot and hoping that you know, considering that oh, times are tough, but oh, you know I've got this event coming up. I managed to get in and get a place and get a get a spot. So let's make the most of it. But you know, if you're given a bad spot at the show, it can uh, can really affect sales. So that was a bit of bad news I did, you know, could have done without, given the, how I was feeling this week. But uh, yeah, like I, I got I got through the prep stuff and uh, I'm now ready to go for, for London. And uh, I'll have another convention in, in Birmingham to to prep for after that one. But that's going to be even quicker to to prepare for because uh, I've got the prints now. It's just going to be a case of replenishing the stock and then uh, going ahead with that. I've, pretty sure it's all mostly done i've paid for my table i've booked my hotel so so that will be fine but other than that and other than facilitating a few sort of sporadic print orders that i might be getting over the next three months uh which you know they, they're still going to take up hours of my time every week i i'm trying to think how how should i best devote my days and certainly uh Working on this uh, upcoming uh, potential uh, card game project t uh, that I'm working on called Total Blast, I think that would be a good excuse, a good time to work on that because uh, it's a side quest. Total Blast isn't the main goal. It's not the thing that I'm going to be like. Yes, this is my business. You know, I'm now executing on this business idea and it's working great. This is. This is a bit of a fun side project, but if I don't do it now, maybe I'll never do it. Uh, but also, it being an art project that I want to work on, given that I'm feeling a bit physically low and maybe a bit mentally low, it's like I need I need maybe something to get me back into the swing of things. So uh, as soon as I feel more able to and up to it, I'm going to hopefully next week or for the rest of this week be working on some of the artwork or something that's going to contribute towards this uh this card game project and uh, maybe I could display a few bits of that. It's with these these videos like I'm very aware of the fact that they're just me ranting and rambling and who, you know who am I? <laughs> I'm not I'm not making any efforts somewhat deliberately to create a flashy fun well well edited well executed video and uh I wouldn't be surprised if, if, you know, not hardly anyone is is going to even listen to this, or watch this, let alone. So, so when you know that, it's hard to think. Oh, yeah, maybe I could show this. Maybe I could show that. Maybe I could post on social media. I mean, the whole reason why I've recently quit social media is because I just didn't feel it was worth it. Uh, I got to a point where, like, I'm not I'm not doing it for the kudos. I don't I don't want people to just compliment me. And I, I'm not convinced that I've got built an audience or a following or enough people that kind of genuinely care what I've been up to. It's kind of funny. Sometimes you, you look at the notifications of people who have liked your your recent posts on social media, and uh, sometimes I see the same faces, but the same faces tend to just be a few other artists or friends and. 
I think they're, they're you know, I, I'm, maybe I'm being too, too self-deprecating here, but it feels as though it's kind of like doing it more for, you know, for support rather than genuinely liking it. I mean, I know that's self-deprecating because even though these are people that kind of support me, they also say, oh, wow, that's fucking amazing. And to be fair, there are a couple of art friends who've even gone on to buy some of my art prints. So I suppose I shouldn't knock it too much, but certainly, like I said in previous videos, I spent a lot of time doing the social media thing, posting thousands of times over years and years, building up tens of thousands of followers. But if I look at just the metric of how much revenue did that generate me, you know, for this goal of sustaining a career as an artist, you know, that's quite an important aspect. In fact, that's that's the main aspect because if you can't pay the bills, that's it. You've got to, you've just got to do a different career because it really is, it really does seem to be an activity that's you kind of have to go go quite heavy, quite quite hard with it. It's not something you can just do a pretty little picture one month and then not have to bother with you know for the re for the rest of the month sort of thing so so yeah social media i didn't i didn't really get anywhere i didn't really make enough from it to feel like it was even worth doing so i wonder you know i've got i you know i, I could i could easily say oh you know I, I could show off this thing that i'm doing i could show off that thing i'm doing but who's ever gonna see it like i like i say i don't i don't i know that no one's gonna or or virtually no one is gonna listen to what I'm saying right now, which is good in some ways, because it gives me the confidence to just say anything and not care. <laughs> but at the same time, it also makes me a bit complacent, or not complacent, but it just makes me feel like, what's the point in, you know, creating a a well-edited B-roll of me displaying my latest wares when uh, no one's really going to watch it. I mean, unless I mean, I don't know what would have to happen. I'd either I'd either have to get gain some traction with a with a video with some kind of other video in the future, which was a bit more, you know, maybe ad advicey. I don't really like to give advice because I think it can be a bit weak, or maybe a bit more universally useful, um, you know, and then start getting more of a following for me to to really bother with stuff like that but i guess uh, until this point this is really just me talking about bits i've i've been doing and trying to work out work out what, what i'm i guess what i'm even doing <laughs> so far as uh youtube goes uh, like i say it's it's kind of funny to think that every day there are tens of thousands of new videos being posted and you wouldn't post it publicly unless you kind of wanted some attention directed towards your video. But there's only so much attention that you can get because there's only so many people that might potentially watch it and there's so much competition. Um, sometimes it, and I know this is a problem of mine, you can think so deeply about these things to a point where you're like, why, why, why should I even bother doing anything? You know, the competition is so great or the you know, no one's going to care or, but I suppose, I suppose it's fine, it's probably a good thing to acknowledge that, if that's something you wanted to do, because um, then you can just think, okay, I'm acknowledging that uh, putting any content out on the internet is kind of a tough game, you know, if you don't just want to do it to share with a few f friends and you kind of want to build an audience, you want to gain traction from people that don't know you, the thing then really is to think, well, how can I deliver something that is of high value? And uh, well, that's something that I guess I would need to consider if I'm kind of uh, a little bit more, if I start getting more concerned about trying to establish a, a viewership or an audience with any videos that I'm outputting on the on the internet. But right now, like I say, it's, this, is, this is an update. This is me just talking about, stuff while I'm feeling ill <laughs> and uh, doesn't really have a, a significant point hopefully uh, future videos will but on the the small hope that one or two people might be following the journey and uh, and care to to know what's going on 
uh, I guess this uh, video is this one's for you so uh, yeah next time I'll have more uh, hopefully I'll have a little bit more uh, to say about what I'm doing exactly to uh, up my game so far as uh, sustaining this art career goes.